Now let's talk about motion path. For you to create motion path, first of all, you need to be on a very good view where you want your motions to start from. The next thing which we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw a perfect curve where we want our motion or our object to drive through. Next thing which we're going to do is go over and switch over to the modeling tab and we'll go to the curves and then rebuild our curves and I'm going to give it a number of say 12 for example like we have. Next thing I'm going to hit and apply and keep hitting and apply till we have a perfect build. I'll go ahead and select the curve and then select the object which I want to go around the curve, switch back to our rigging tab, go to constraint and select motion path. At this point I'm going to come through and attach to motion path. I'll leave everything as it is which I want the timer to be the beginning and the end of our motion. I'll allow our car to bank at any point where it's traveling through and then I'll simply hit on apply. If for some reason the car is not positioned properly, simply go over to your attribute editor and then go to the motion part and position the car properly. For this we're going to go over to where we have our front axis and then we're going to switch it to Z. I'll try to jump into the perspective just to make sure that I'm looking at the car exactly where I want it to be. If everything goes according to plan, all I need to do is now press the playback button, sit down and watch the car drive through. And this is how you create motion path for your object in Maya. If you have questions about this, please don't forget to put them down in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends and see you guys later. Peace.